Welcome back to school everybody. This video that I'm about to uh, make is just to teach you about the new homework that's going to be happening for the rest of this term. Now homework for term two is based on research. Okay, now having research skills is very important for when you go to high school, you'll need these skills. So in the next five weeks, we're going to be giving you a different topic each week to research and to write a paragraph about. Um, so another big difference is that our homework now will be posted on OneNote. Okay, we're going to continue to use OneNote. It won't have all the glitches that it did at the start because there'll be less people using it. Okay, so it should work very well. So each week we'll post our topic that you need to research and also a research sheet which, which we're going to look at in a moment. So here's the research sheet that you'll be given each week or posted each week. You will have to uh, print that out at home and write on the sheet or you can save it on your computer, type on it, then print it off. We need a printed copy or written copy glued into your homework book to be brought. Okay, so don't email it, but you can write on it in Word and then print it out. There are four sections you can see to this research uh, sheet. First one is posing some questions. So we'll give you a topic and then you can pose three or four questions that will help guide your research. And we'll have a look at this in a minute with a practice one. Then you collect information. Now in this box here, you just write the information that you collect. You don't have to put it into your own words. Okay, you just write it in. But this section here is really important. Every website or book that you take information from, you need to record what that website's title is and its main part of its uh, URL, the, the address. Okay, sometimes the address is really, really long. Just cut and paste the first part and put it in here, okay? The third part is where you write your paragraph, okay? So now let's have a look at an example one. So here's our topic, the internet. Now that's a fairly broad topic. We can do lots of things on there. So I'm going to pose some questions here, okay? But first you need to pose some questions to guide your research. So I'm going to pose some questions. For example, when did the internet begin? Um, who made it? Where is everything stored? Does every country have the same internet? So these are the four questions that I've posed to guide my research. So I'm going to now use these questions and find the answers to them. So first of all, I went to, secondly, we need to do our research in here. So I found this information. The United States military created a military network just for the military. The first internet called ARPANET was set up to share documents amongst the military in 1969. That's a long time ago. Technically, all the world uses the same internet, but countries can decide what content is available to their citizens. So some countries might um, filter out stuff, not allow their citizens to see. So depending on their, their system of government and their beliefs, of course. Um, the internet is not on one data center or only on one server. <laughs> You'd have to have a really big server to have all the internet on. The internet is everywhere. The internet is millions of servers connected around the world to serve the people. So there's the information I've collected and you can see they relate to my questions. Okay, it's no use finding information that don't relate to my questions that I pose. Now, I could have posed different questions and collected different information and written a different report. That's okay. Whatever questions you pose is your focus. Okay? Now, you also need to record where you took the information from. So, for example, I visited three uh, websites. And you can see here, I've put the title, How the Internet Begins, and I've put just the main part of the URL. 
Sometimes they're really long. Uh, the next one was who invented the internet. I found that, put that down, and then I went to Macquarie site um, and found some information there. After I've done all that, now I need to write it into my own words into a paragraph. Using the teal system was a good, is a good idea. Um, so here's the paragraph that I wrote from this information. There it goes there. And you need to have a, a solid paragraph. Now you probably can't read that, so I'm going to put a new slide up which has this on that slide so you can read what I've written. So this is my paragraph that I've written, or, or a few paragraphs. First of all, I use my information and I have an introduction. The internet has been around since 1969. I thought that was a good place to start for my introduction. It has become a wide, worldwide system which allows citizens to access information, buy products and services, and work in multiple buildings across multiple countries. So there's a good introduction about what the internet has done for us and is. Now I talk about, go back to its, its um, inception. In 1969, the US military created a system titled ARPANET. This allowed military service to communicate with each other and share documents. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? This system, over time, was superseded and the original ARPANET was used as a model to create the public internet. Okay, so it was first used by the military and then it morphed into this internet that's available to the citizens. Fairly small at the start, I'd imagine. Today, though, the internet is used in every country. Each country, depending on their rights and freedoms, allows their citizens to access information from around the world. This ability to access information has created the need to store all of this information. Remember, that was one of my questions that I posed. Where is this information stored? It would be impossible to store the internet on one single server. The data is stored on many servers around the world. Now you can see that I put this into my own words, putting in the little bits of information along the way. Today, the internet is a part of everyday life and has changed the way we perform tasks, interact with others and source information. That's my own conclusion, okay? So you can see that I've got about five paragraphs, an introduction, a conclusion, and a bit of information in the middle. So hopefully this will guide you each week on how to perform the homework task. Good luck.